Hello. Uh, this is the LED driver circuit with the auto mode on the device I made. I want to share this. Uh, these lithium ion cells are very easy to find inside the notebook batteries and uh, these auto lights uh, they work really good they are really nice nice things to have around <coughs> so uh, here is the circuit uh, I'll try to zoom uh, on on the parts of it and I think that the va all the values you can see in here I'm not going to to say the values because it's all written in here oh here is the LDR and uh, the program I'm using don't have the LDR symbol so I placed a resistor on the instead and the battery well there's everything in here you can watch this and, and take a look here is the switch where I can choose uh, to use the the automatic circuit or use straight the, the voltage to the battery so uh, is this switch in here for on or auto mode is this one so you can uh, choose between turning the lights on with this part of the circuit when it gets dark or just turn the lights on taking the voltage direct direct to the battery and this part in here is that oscillators I use I've made some changes uh, I mean I'm using now a two I'm sorry I always make this mistake is zero point two hundred and twenty two hundred microfarad microfarad zero point one microfarad they are two uh, 104 capacitor ceramic discs capacitor in parallel so I think it's uh, the value is right it's uh, 200 200 0 0.2 microfarad I bought a few as uh, 0.2200 and uh, these are the inductors I use so all the values are in here uh, here uh, you can increase this value from 2k7 maybe to a 3.3k it will work fine too. I'm using a 1 mega ohm resist uh, potentiometer, and uh, basically, is this in here? Uh, it is possible to use uh, three LEDs, maybe four, but I decided to use just two 
because I really want uh, to use the light it's really important for me to have a very good amount of light to use and uh, with this uh, 2K7 in here uh, the amps the amp draw is about 40 milliamps to drive uh, the, the two LED banks and you can decrease this just increasing this value on here when I place it on the on the breadboard it was about 25 to 30 but when when I place it on the on the proto board uh, it increased it to 40 so uh, 3.3k it will be a good value to use in here with the 1 mega ohm uh, potentiometer so all the values are in here this is the circuit for the auto mode light and remember uh, the voltage here is from 3.7 to 4.2 volts uh, above above 4.2 or uh, you need to change this this resistance here this 48k here resistor here you have to increase this to use more than 4.2 volts in here and uh, other videos that you follow now was the building process uh, was when I was testing and uh, testing and testing so I, I decided to play to show the circuit first then you you'll be free to watch or not the building process and in advance thanks for watching uh, the driving circuit is on the breadboard uh, already tested, retested and it's working fine uh, here is the milliamp draw uh, the two panels uh, cluster is finished the, this part of the circuit is already on the proto board I have to place this this part this is the automatic uh, driving for the for this part and I'm testing the second cluster in here so when the light goes off the LED is turned on it's working fine uh, I, I my plans are to use uh, this lithium ion cell uh, in this box I'll place in the box uh, this is the solar panel I will use uh, it's with silicone so I'm going to use like this with uh, one panel on, on one side and the other panel on the other side the controls on the front and uh, this is the uh, here are the milliamp drop when it's turned on
think it's a good amount of light but uh, there is a resistor uh, in series with this potentiometer uh, it's a uh, 2.7k and the pot is a uh, 1 mega and uh, the potentiometer is on the on the maximum resistance so that when it's on the automatic mode I can have this amount of light this is a good amount of light I've, I've tested this uh, it's a good light for uh, automatic and I think that with that amount of, of drop until 35 milliamps is acceptable I'm using just two LEDs in series and uh, I'll have a switch and then instead of taking the the vein from the auto switch I can get it from directly from the battery and then I can have a, a, a better light so this light is just for the automatic lighting and uh, I'll have to, I'll finish this now switch with the LDR is in here everything is on the Porto board uh, with the LED cluster uh, it's connected the battery positive and negative and making the first test uh, the potentiometer is not installed, it's just connected and uh, thanks that there is no problem, it's working fine. It's taking too much amps because there is no potentiometer in there, but it's working really fine. and maybe because there is no breadboard I always uh, forget to to increase the values of the resistors uh, I always make this mistake on the protoboard uh, everything works but when I place on the on the on the circuit the resistance is lower and the, all the values uh, increase too but nothing too much I'm getting a very decent light and it's working fine and the sensibility is okay too and it increases the lighting or decreases and it really gets really dark gets really bright and then it goes dimming, dimming Okay, uh, let's continue to to mount the circuit, to install the components and place in the box.